In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create this water surface in Unreal with this caustic effect, where the light that we see passing through the water, casting this pattern underneath the water. We'll also take a look at how you can create this volume underneath the water that will allow us to go into the water and give an underwater look. To begin, we'll create a brand new scene, and then we'll go to Edit, Plugins, and make sure that we have the water plugin enabled. This is an experimental plugin and it will require you to probably restart Unreal once you enable it. So make sure you enable that plugin and once you've restarted Unreal, then we can kind of continue. The next thing that we're going to do is create a landscape sculpt to dip into to fill it with water. We can also fill other things with water like a pool or some sort of geometry that you import, but in this case we're just going to make a dip in the landscape. So to create that landscape, we're going to delete the floor here. And I'm going to change the mode to the landscape mode, and I'll create a ground. And I'll just sculpt in a dip by using the sculpt tool with this circle shape. And I'll hold shift, to just make a slight dip into the ground. Once I've done that, I'll change my mode back to selection mode. And I'll be able to fill this hole with water by going to the add to project button here and search water. Now there are a couple options. There is the ocean option, which will allow you to fill a large space going far off into the distance with water. And this works by defining a spline or a shape that you see here that kind of covers where your land or island is and everything outside that shape will be filled with water. When you do create this, it may take quite a while for the water to actually show up because as you can see here, it's preparing shaders or kind of loading that water surface. So that's one way you can actually create a large amount of water that surrounds an island or some sort of larger terrain. But in this case, we just want to fill this gap here. So I'm not going to use that. I'm going to delete that in this case. And what we're going to do instead is I'm going to go here and search water and just create a water body custom. Once I've created a water body custom, we have this square, which I can resize and fit to the area that I want to fill with water. So in this case, I will just kind of scale it up and move it to where that dip is. So I'll push it down, scale, and there we go. So now I filled this dip in the train with this water. By default, it does have a material and it does work pretty well, and it does fade along the edges. So already you're off to a good start, but we're starting to see here that we don't really get the effect that we had before, where you see the light passing through the water, causing those caustics or magnified light patterns on the bottom of the floor below or the ocean floor below. So to get those, we're going to have to make sure that we actually generate some waves. But before doing that, we want to make sure that caustics are enabled in the material. So we can select this water body custom, scroll all the way down, and we'll find its water material and open that up. And the reason why we're doing this is we just want to confirm that in this water material, that under the settings here, that we have caustics enabled. So make sure that we have our caustics, caustics checked on and enabled and set to be true. Here you'll find other things that can adjust the look of the water material as well, such as color and scattering. So you can play with a lot of these settings and change the way the water looks. Now, even though we have caustics enabled, why don't we get that effect of the light passing through the water? Well, we have some waves here, but they're kind of fake and they're not really added in uh, with a wave asset, which is what is going to be needed to create the caustic effect and also some actual deformation on these waves or this ocean surface or water surface. So to add that, we're going to click on our water body custom here, and we're going to scroll and look for where we have our wave asset that we can add in. And you'll be able to find this here under wave, and we can see waves source. And right now it's set to none. We're going to change that and change it to water waves asset reference. Once we've set that, it will have a drop down where you can put in a water waves asset. And we're going to create a water waves asset 
by right clicking in our content browser, going to water and creating some water waves. And I'll just call this WW water waves and just call it default. And I'll open that up and it will give us a preview of the water surface or the waves really, like a patch of these waves. And you can see that it actually has deformation and shaping and we can control all of this. So we have settings here for a number of waves, uh, seed, which is just kind of like a random variation of it, uh, wavelength as well. So we can change all these things. So I could make it have more number of waves, some randomness. I can make the wavelength um, a lot smaller and I can change a lot of these settings. And then maybe if it seems too spiky, I could make the steepness lower. So there's all these different settings that you can change. Amplitude, kind of bring that down a bit. So you have the option to change how the water surface is shaped and how it moves. And once you've determined this, you can save this water waves asset and drop it into our water body custom under waves, water waves asset, pop it in here. And that will change the way our water surface looks. It will also properly add that fake caustic effect. So now if I look at the water here, we get those caustics underneath the water surface. And again, if we go back and start changing some of those water wave um, settings here, like if I size this a bit so we can see both, and I start changing number of waves or the wave length, we can start seeing those effect. Um, those, those changes also affect the way the water looks and how the caustic effect underneath the water gets generated. Now this caustic effect is something that you only see above the water because it is a bit of a shader cheat or a material cheat. If you actually go under the water surface, it's not there, which might be fine because we're going to create a underwater look. So right now, if we go underneath the water surface, it doesn't feel like we're underwater and that's a bit of a problem. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to add a box or a volume that will contain a water look that will change how the camera sees um, our scene and make it kind of seem darker, bluer, or kind of giving it an underwater feel. So we'll take our water body custom here. We're going to click on it. And underneath the details, under the water body component, we're going to add a box collision. And this box collision is going to be your underwater volume. It's going to be a box that will scale up. So we'll go here and scale up this box. And this box will be pretty much a area that if we come in contact with, it will give us that underwater look. So I'm going to make sure I size this box to a good amount and push it right below the water. So it only kind of appears if we go underneath the water surface or the ground. Carefully place it like this. And right now it doesn't really work. If I go underneath, nothing changes. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to take that underwater volume once we've sized it and we're going to add to it underneath it a post process which allows us to change it's kind of like a 2D color correction or screen effect and we're going to go on that post process we'll scroll down and make sure that unbound is set to off so it's not affecting everything only this box and we'll go underneath the water inside this box and then we'll change some of the settings so you could probably play around with this in more detail and, and kind of explore what works best for your underwater look but as a, a kind of starting thing I'm just going to change the temperature of the white balance to make it blue like this and you can change this in much better ways, probably using the global um, color correction options here. You can make it darker, brighter, you could change the contrast, plenty of things you can do.
But now what happens is if I go outside this box, it's our normal look. And if I go underneath the water, we come in contact with that, that collision box and that post-process volume, it switches or fades to that underwater look. So now we have the ability to have some pretty good looking water with caustics. And if we go below that water surface, we have this underwater look. So in just a matter of moments, uh, we can pretty much create pretty good looking water in Unreal. And this can be useful for any of your scenes, any of your um, interactive kind of games or levels that you're making. And the great thing about this water is it's not really a simulation or anything. It's just kind of like a plane, with a bit of kind of distortion or displacement on it, uh, or a bit of wobble on the, the vertices. So it's not super heavy to put in your scenes either. It's not the same as the Niagara fluids, which are much heavier. So that's what we can do to start creating some nice water surfaces in Unreal. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And for those who are members of the Patreon, you'll also be finding uh, this full tutorial as a PDF, some additional information of those water settings, uh, which also may be useful.